My name is Christine, and I'm a recovery of PNES. I was diagnosed back in 2014, and my world stopped, utterly stopped. I had kids that I couldn't take care of, a home that I couldn't claim. I couldn't even take care of myself. I relied on people to take care of these things for me. Oh, that's as painful as it sounds. Yes, it was. I had two people who I was close with who moved in with me for three months. And they didn't just help me with my kids, help me drive around, well, drove me around for three months, help me keep the house tidy, help do laundry, things that we needed, help the kids with their homework. They helped me in recovery. These were two people who were just lay people, but they had their own journeys, their own walks. They had to recover from things in their own life. And so they were veterans in a way. Well, for three months, I did this massive self-examination. I had to come to grips with the fact that as critical as I had been of the world, I couldn't change the world. Not one person can change the world. There's only one person, me. So I stopped trying to change the world, stopped trying to diagnose what was wrong with everyone and everything, and I turned all that energy, as much as I could anyway, inward. I stopped trying to see what was wrong and how things were affecting me. I started to ask questions like, why? Why is this affecting me this way? Why is this person in my life? They don't treat me very nicely. What is this one thing that just keeps happening over and over again? Like routine in my life, but just changes the circumstances, the people. What's that about? Massive self-examination self-analysis, reading books that challenged my core beliefs, reading books that challenged the way I process information. That's where it all began for me. If you're interested in that kind of journey where you're willing to say, I have no control over people, over places, over things, and I'm tired and I'm ready to lay it all down. And I will brave that. I'll take that look inside. I don't want to. I'm afraid. But I'm going to. I surrender. If that's the kind of walk you want, that's the kind of journey you're willing to take, that's the one that I took. And that is the people who I work with, those who are brave.